Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us in Tommy Media's The Locker Room. I'm Noel Brown. St. Thomas football charges into Mayak play this weekend af against Hamlin after steamrolling non-conference opponent Trinity International. Wide receiver Vinny Pellini won Mayak Player of the Week honors for his scoring efforts on special teams, both kicking and returning. Halfback Josh Parks led a rushing attack that gained 379 total yards and seven touchdowns. I'm joined this week by Coach Glenn Caruso, Vinny Pellini, and Josh Parks. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being on today. Thanks for having us. Thanks. Cool. Uh, so, Coach, you're in your 11th season with the Tommies now. Yeah. How close are you to having the program uh, look the way you envisioned back in 2008? I mean, it, we, I think, are in pretty decent shape right now. Um, still have a lot of growth, and I'm always going to say that. It doesn't matter if you're interviewing me 10 years from now in the same spot. Um, but very happy with how we've been able to take steps each year. And it's not just the on-the-field stuff, it's the off-the-field stuff. I mean, I think everything is fairly comprehensive. We have a really good football team. We have for a long time now. But other points of, of pride in the last year, I mean, we have 51 guys on the Dean's list. We have 19 Hampshire Award winners, which is a, a Division Three national record. We set the attendance record last year. We're doing the right things on, off the field, and in the society, and uh, happy about that. And so, Vinny, you're listed as a wide receiver on the depth chart. And uh, against Trinity, you had the 94-yard kickoff return for the touchdown, and you went 4 of 5 on PATs. How does playing in multiple facets of the game affect your weekly preparation? Um, I think the coaches and my teammates put me in great opportunities uh, to make plays for our team, as well as, uh, you know, in high school I was always able to, we had a smaller team, so I always uh, kicked and did some other stuff as well. So the weekly preparation is about the same as it always has been. I'm just ready to step up when the opportunity is given. And Josh, you were the lead back for a unit that provided a vast majority of the yardage and, yardage and scoring two weeks ago. As, as a senior, how is your role for this season different than it has been in the past? Um, I don't think it's necessarily different. Um, like, you know, Coach says, and like our team prepares, you never know when you get to step in. Um, you know, when I first came here, we had injuries. Um, and, you know, people have to step in, and, you know, we have another injury this year. And, you know, you have young guys that always step in. And as a leader, not just because I'm a senior, but just because I've you know, been here for a while, you know, it's my job to lead and, you know, help prepare the team. But that's everyone's job. So you come into work and try to be as good as you can to help the team win. And, Coach, the team is coming off of a bye week after a non-conference game. Yep. You uh, said to me in an earlier conversation that it's felt almost like an extended uh, training camp period. Correct. Uh, how do you keep energy and focus up during such prolonged down periods? Uh, well, you're always going to have a bye week. It's just this one happens to be earlier. We did uh, deal with a, a week two bye week about a decade ago when we first got here. Uh, but as you were alluding to, I just think it was a neat opportunity for us to kind of extend our camp mentality. And certainly school has now started, but um, camp is about really focusing on us and our growth. And uh, we're routinely asked about how you, how you stay focused. And when you focus on being the best version of yourself, you can be in improving yourself and not worrying too much about the opponent. It usually allows us to do that. And this early bye week, although a little awkward in some ways, because it is so early, did uh, certainly allow us to focus on that. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming in today. You got it. And thank you for joining us in the locker room. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com this weekend for full game name coverage as the Tommies take on Hamlin. With Coach Crusoe, Vinny Pellini, and Josh Parks, I'm Noah Brown. We'll see you next time here in the locker room.